Girl, this this fresh relaxer is giving it to me today, okay? I'm gonna be cute all day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April Sunny. On this channel, we discuss all things hair care, skin care, we chit chat, and there is some makeup sprinkled in, honey. So if that is something you'd enjoy, consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with taking my braids down. I always use It's a Tin Styling Potion. I use a little bit of that because a little goes a long way. And then I normally follow that up with coconut oil. And if for any reason I need to refresh in my curls, I do use the same products every other day. So I've had my hair in the actual braids itself because sometimes you guys, you guys know sometimes I wear my hair in just the, the plaits. Um, I have that for a week. I'm finally taking it down because I have to wash my hair once a week now instead of every two weeks. So I finally took it down. I'm going to wear it like this for today and tomorrow. And then I'm going to shampoo my hair again with the medicated shampoo. Comment down below if you'd like for me to do a wash day on how I use the medicated shampoo along with my regular shampoos and products. Let me know if you wanna see something like that. So I did pick up this edge control that was recommended from one of you guys. So I'm just gonna put this on real quick. That's how my edge is living. I think I should give it, I think I should put this on there. I'm gonna give it five minutes and we are gonna see what it do. It's my first time using it. So hopefully it does well. Okay, we back. I just took, I just took this off my head and I think it looks pretty good. Girl, my edges are soft. They are laid, they are pretty. Normally, I will wear my hair like this, but if it gets super frizzy and I just can't wear it like this no more, that's when I start doing different things with my hair. And I don't really like any of my stuff to be tight, so I don't do anything super tight. So for this half up, half down look, I normally just have my hair kind of loosely in a top ponytail and let it hang in my face. I think it's so cute. If for any reason it does not work well on your forehead, you can always just swerve it around and put it into a loose little bun on the top of your head. Now I'm using two hairpins, one in the front, one in the back. And if you care about that super smooth look, you can go ahead and smooth your ponytail out a little bit, but you know, I don't really care all that much. So this is what I have here and I love it. All right, next. Okay, so if you follow my channel, you know I love a good French roll and I actually love it better on crimpy, curly, frizzy hair. I don't care what you call it. But anyway, I just pull a little face frame and pieces out, pull my hair in a ponytail, twist it, fold it into itself, and then use two hairpins to pin my French roll down. Once that's completed, I'll then adjust my hair or just you know, fix it to my desire, and that's it. I can do this in the car, I can do this at work, I can do this wherever I feel like putting my hair up. It's quick, it's classic, and it's beautiful. Moving on to my messy bun. Now I will say 90% of the time, this is how my hair is when I'm running errands, when I'm in the house, when I'm gonna sleep, whatever. But anyway, I just pull that through and pull out some face framing pieces. And then I'll take a regular hair tie, put it over the curly ponytail and adjust it to my liking. 
And then once that's completed, I'm gonna take two hairpins, the same two hairpins, I'm gonna pin it in the front and then pin it in the back just to make sure it doesn't flop all over the place when I'm moving around or when a big gust of wind comes past, it'll stay in place. So once I do that, of course, you know, take some more out if you prefer, but this is the look and it works. Okay, my flat twist. So I divide my hair into two sections and instead of braiding my hair, if I'm short on time, I will go ahead and flat twist my hair all the way down past my nape area, well, a little past my nape area, put my ponytail holder on, tight but not too tight. Once you get to that last one, create a bun and flip your little curls over the bun and adjust to your liking. Now I'm gonna show you on the other side as well, but I'm gonna show you using a scrunchie. As I said before, just twist it a little past your nape area. This keeps your flat twist in place while you're trying to put your hair tie on. Now I'm showing you with the scrunchie so you can see exactly where the ponytail holder is. And once you flip it over, it does create a little bit more volume to your curls. Of course, if you use um, a scrunchie that is the color of your hair, it would look a little better, you know, but this is it. for any reason you do not like that look you can always pull it down and just have your curls hanging out into little ponytails to me this is a really cute schoolgirl look and I actually really love it for the gym as well it's so cute you guys now this should not even be considered a hairstyle but for us moms it is the number one go-to and that is the low ponytail for me, having a couple pieces hanging out in the front just gives it that, you know, kind of effortless, cute little look to run errands, run, drop the kids off at school, run to the supermarket, go to the gym, anything. It is so adorable. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. That's, that's what ma'am got in her pocket. I think they're so cute and simple. Like, I mean, how can you go wrong? Like, you you got five minutes to get out the door. You got time to put your lip gloss on. You got time to brush your eyebrows. And you got time to do your hair in that five minutes. Trust me, if you're a mom, you know what I'm talking about. I got some more, but I'll show you in a different video. You know, spread this girl out a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this channel. And until the next time. Be love.